Okay, today I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare an easy truck mirror for your, your truck. A uh, pretty, pretty basic one. Um, just glue it straight in, plastic surround, easy. <clears throat> there are lots of different ways to repair them, so I'll show you a couple of videos. So first of all, cut your rock cut there. Turn the face down. You can use a flat blade screwdriver, in this case, putty knife. I'm going to make a score all the way around here, and then when I turn it over, I'm going to have a black line to follow. Okay. Make sure it doesn't move. This gives you more accuracy. So sometimes you need car mirrors to be really, really accurate so it fits right where that little, uh, the, the little lip of plastic, it has to clip into a little lip of plastic sometimes. And it only has to be like one and a half mil or two mil bit too big and it just won't go in. So you, your cutting can be very, well, so long as you can cut accurate, but this, this just gives you a very, very accurate size to the outside edge, of course. I'm also going to show you something else in a minute. That gives me a nice black line to follow. There's that black line to scratch where I've scratched it all. So there you go. So, need, got to have the kerosene, get the kerosene and oil. Now the thickness of the glass cutter, the, the actual, um, the mirror's got to go inside here, and we've got a line scratched to the outside edge, so you've got about, uh, about three mil set in. So what I do, when I'm running the glass cutter around the black line, I follow the black line to the very edge of the cutter, the wheel's central, so that's about three mil there, and then when I'm following it around by hand, that piece of edge of the cutter will just follow the black line. So it actually will be about six mil or five mil shorter than the actual scratch line. If you use the corner of the bench, you can actually walk around the corner of the bench so you can stop less. It's better in one continuous line if you can do it. Okay, now bending the glass a little bit with a tap underneath, so that's open from there to there. Manipulate the glass just so that cut runs. When you get to a sharp corner, it doesn't like to go around, so I usually, again, I usually sort of bend it and then tap it, but just with your two fingers. run off. Very, very thin piece of glass, so can't be too heavy handed. 
broken on the underside, now we're going to break the front, push, tap, now that's broken this side, if you watch my other videos you'll know what I've just done, a couple of cuts out to the glass, And there you have it, the car mirror. Um, non aesthetic silicone, if you're going to silicone in with silicone, uh, usually the best one to use is a yellow tube called V60. Um, but regular normal silicone, if it's an aesthetic cure, it'll just burn the silver, and after six months, you'll see where all the blues come through. There you go. Now, that fits. You can just glue that in pretty rough. Um, if you've got access to obviously a, um, an upright belt sander, um, then you'd actually machine the edges nice and smooth, take the sharp edges off, just looks nicer, then drop it in and glue it, and then it'll look much better.